Hey guys, it's Cooper Manning and I'm on a quest to visit the best backyards in the country. With my friends at Barbecue Guys, we're out to discover what it means to have true backyard style and check out the sacred places where grilling magic happens. Our next pit stop, my pal Colin Coward's backyard. Hi Barbecue Guys, I'm Colin Coward. Welcome to my backyard. Hey Colin, thanks for having me over buddy, I love it. Bring it in here right here. Well, you don't like the hat backwards? What is it? Why do you like hats that go backwards? I just feel like you graduate from that at about 19. I was going to say 11. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Romo. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my backyard. Fantastic. Thank you for having me over. I've been oh. calling you for weeks. I thought eventually you'd return my call. I did eventually. <laughs> <laughs> just in time. Colin, I'm curious, what makes a backyard backyardial? To me, small, almost boutique-y, mm -hmm. private. Intimate. I, I like intimate backyards. Yeah. This is not a gigantic backyard. You know, like Spielberg would have a big backyard. Sure. This is what a sportscaster gets. I got a couple USC fight on toys back here. Place for a cigar. Uh-huh. My kids hang out, little hot tub dogs a little bit, but I don't, I think intimate, small. It's manicured, it looks nice. Well, it's AstroTurf. <laughs> no, you know, I never, I've never heard of it. Yeah, your dad played on it. I thought it was it. Zoysia. Yeah, my dad. It, 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 Losing it's... to the Falcons, your dad played on it for years. <laughs> He's still got scars. <laughs> The thing I like about grilling, this sounds weird. Yeah. I like the smell of it. What, how do you explain that? It smells like family. Yeah. It Does that like, sound odd? No, but it's friends, family, and just Americana. Yeah, campfire. When I was a little kid, my dad took us up in a Winnebago to Mount Rainier. This is 50 years ago. Every time I smell a campfire, anywhere I am in America, I think of my sister on a bike, immediately, instantaneously, I think about that. So to me, it's family, it's my sister, it's my dad, it's bikes and Mount Rainier. We had a grill right next to the basketball court and you play, dad's you know, playing hoops with his mom, just kind of watching the grill because my dad did not have any timing. Right. And uh, Sunday nights, barbecue, burgers, hot dogs, and then chocolate milkshakes on Sunday night. I mean, what could go wrong? Now, when you're talking about a backyard, how do you compare that to some of the great sports venues? Well, my favorite places are intimate. Duke, Cameron Indoor, have you ever been to Wrigley? It's unbelievable. The best. You really get those if you're a sports fan. The vulnerabilities, the flaws of them, yeah. are what make them great. It's like an old car or an old t-shirt. This backyard has good character. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, kind of, it just reminds me of you a little bit, Colin. Why is that? It's small and uh, doesn't quit talking. <laughs> In its own natural way. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, you mentioned Wrigley. This literally looks like the ivy where Ryan Sandberg hit dingers. Yeah, um, again, intimacy, you know? This, I get it from leaves. It's, it's, it's good. You're a botany major, really. <laughs> as, as, Why not? Uh, I didn't go to class when I was there, actually. <laughs> Let, let's go over here. If I want to relax where I go. All right, tough question. This is where the tough questions happen right here. All right. Dream barbecue afternoon, top three athletes you'd like to have uh, tasting your brisket. That's good. Yeah. So I wouldn't get stars because you couldn't be yourself. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm saying this not just because you're here, but you, E. Lyon, and Peyton would be funny, but you'd have the advantage over me because you... <laughs> Clearly. You have all the inside yeah. jokes. I feel like I'd be mocked. Especially you love Brady so much. That would be just... Oh, that'd be hard for Peyton. Yeah. Could Tom come over here? Could you handle yourself? Could you compose yourself yes. for a full afternoon with Tom in the house? If you gave me three athletes, Charles Barkley. Yes, because everybody gets to pick on him and he's a great sport. He's a great sport. Um, there's something about Brooks Kepka. There's an alpha thing. Yeah. But he doesn't like Bryson DeChambeau, which makes him like... <laughs> Kind of vulnerable, but fascinating. So would you have Bryson as well, just for pure entertainment? No. Uh, 
a couple cocktails in, yeah. you got fists. Yeah. So Brooks Kepka uh -huh. uh, is fun. How about this? How about a guy who's overcome a lot and just hit the lottery? Matt Stafford. Beautiful. Never got invited to parties for 12 years in Detroit. <laughs> now, yeah. bring in Matt Stafford. I think that'd be great. I've, I've hung out with Stafford, great guy. He'd be a perfect addition. I saw Matt Stafford, he came down to the Manning Passing Academy as a rising junior and- uh, High school. High, in college. And it had all these quarterbacks there. And I remember I was sitting next to Peyton and Eli and Matt dropped back and just threw like a nice 15 yard route. Peyton goes, I've seen enough. First round pick, no doubt about it. No doubter. One throw. One throw, just <laughs> he had a gun. So. Cooper. This is where the magic happens. Really? Yeah. That's an impressive grill. I'm not going to lie. Well, I thought you'd have a little one, like a little Bunsen burner. Come on. <laughs> I brought some burgers. Is that OK? Oh, barbecue, barbecue. guys. Yeah. Premium cuts. Let's do this. This, is, this Oh, guy's nice. You know, burgers right down the middle. Boom. You're not, we're, we're meat and potato guys. Nothing, nothing don't fancy. get fancy. I don't want a ribeye cap. I don't even know what a ribeye cap is. <laughs> Perfect. Are they bison burgers? I only travel with bison burgers. Okay, give me one more. There we go. When do you add the cheese, typically? Um, no, that's late. Late. You don't want to. You don't want to mess. A little, little spice. Yeah, absolutely. You actually look like you know what you're doing. Yeah. No, I kind of do. You're comfortable. Oh, terribly comfortable. Now, as you do this, we're a long. These are thick bison burgers. Yeah. Oh, you've got those too. Yeah, throw a couple of asparagus on for mine. Yeah, throw a couple of asparagus on. There we go. That's enough. You sure? No, a couple more, they'll shrink. <laughs> it's a creation grill. right there, yeah. You turn the grill up, you crank it up. And you burn it off? 10, 15 minutes, boom, you're set. Do you ever forget the next morning nope. you come out here and it, it's nope. raining and just Fog going Lost everywhere. a house in Naples, Florida that way once, but <laughs> that's for another show. You live and learn. Oh look at you. So look at this. I'm impressed. All right. So where are we going to go sit over here? All right, let's go. Let's dig in here and see how it works. Let's go decibels too. Let's not. Oh yeah. I want exact. Out of 10? Wow, that is juicy. That's mm. delicious. Mm. You got some. Uh, I don't care. I'm going 9.9. .9. That is. Hang on. Mmm. Good I don't want to be arrogant. 9.8. I mean, I did them, right? Arrogant comes so easy to you. I know. Genetic makeup. <laughs> it's a gift. It really is, and it keeps on giving. Really, that is a good burger. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Colin, you're a terrific host. I really appreciate you having me over. I'm not gonna lie. You got wow. a great backyard. Well, you brought a lot to the table you got too. A cool house. You got good style, my friend. Colin, as a great host, it is my honor to reward you with Barbecue Guy's greatest symbol of achievement, being a backyard barbecue baller, my friend. This is sturdy. It fits like a glove. Look at that. Look at that. You notice with Barbecue Guy's, the quality. I'm not messing around no. here. Not flimsy. I like that. Look at that. That's what I need. I have to get on a plane later. I'm not so sure I'm not going to wear this through security. No. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be people lining up to sit next to you. They'll say, so can I sit in 24F? <laughs> There's a guy in a great looking barbecue well, guy's outfit. People wore overalls for a decade. This could catch on for six months. I think that, today's the day to start the trend. Let's do it. Well, Colin, thanks again for everything. We had a great day. Colin Coward, the best host. Until next time, we'll see you on Pit Stops. Take care. Want to see more of Collins' backyard? Check out barbecueguys.com slash pitstop and take the full tour with me.